Happy Labor Day, everyone. Here we go. The real men are stepping up right now. And what's happening is the women that are choosing to follow their black men are going to be ultimately triumphant. And for those of that you that want to stay behind, stay behind. Hold on fiercely to your independence. Let me tell you how stupid this independence thing is. We're going to make... El Wapo's about to break this down so you don't ever forget it. You think you're a strong, independent entity? I want to see you knock somebody out with one finger. Do it. I want you to hit somebody as hard as you can in the jaw with a single finger. Because that's your fragile independence right there. Now, I dare you to actually be interdependent in a black family and bond yourself together, surrounded by the people that will keep you safe and tight, and then strike a blow. That's how you're strong. You don't know what you're doing. What's good, team? Salute and salutations. Welcome to Beautiful Eyes. I'm your not-so-humble host, El Wapo. And once again, we are here in the classy Checkmate studio. Good to have you all here on this holiday Monday. Now, uh, why are we here? Just before I went to bed this morning, um, Edward Anderson, shout out to you, sir, went live talking about a post that Kevin Samuels made, okay? Kevin Samuels jumped on um, Instagram and he lit that thing on fire. He lit it on fire. I made a quick video about it. By the time I woke up, it had gone, let's not say viral, but infectious. And as we sit here now, under 15 hours, it's got over 16,000 views. So clearly the Godfather has hit on something and this is something that we need to talk about. Let me read what Kevin Samuels wrote. I reiterate, that this is his account. It is the one with the blue check mark. It says, like it or not, this is a real and current conversation, not trolling or provocative. Ladies, at what point should black men walk away from black women? Don't get hung up in, well, it all depends, type of, type of thinking, and instead respond to the spirit of the question. I got a ton of con uh, comments about this, guys. A ton of comments. And for the most part, there's a healthy debate going on in the comment section of this. But one comment really, really stood out. And it is from this young lady right here, Candid Ann. Candid Ann wrote me, El Wapo, or I guess anyone else that cares to sincerely answer, what is wrong with a black woman, a black woman being independent? From what I'm gathering, Black men don't want to be used for their resources, but they also don't want black women to be independent. Does independence mean financially independent or does it mean someone that acts like they don't need a man at all? I'm a first generation kid. My family is from Barbados. I've been married for 16 years, but I try to imagine myself as a single dating woman and there are so many mixed messages. Listen, Candid Ann, that is a fantastic question. And I'm going to tell you what, I really appreciate you asking something in good faith instead of just attacking me or attacking, you know, the question as a whole, you sought understanding. So this video is for you. I'm still small enough. I can make videos based on my comments and stuff like that. And I'm thankful for the opportunity to do that. So first things first, I think it's very important for us to define what independence is. This is from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, all right? Independent, an adjective form. For those of you that don't know, an adjective is a modifier of a noun. A noun is a person, place, or thing, okay? So an independent woman, all right? Number one, not dependent, such as not subject to control by others, self-governing not affiliated with a larger controlling unit. This is big. Not requiring or relying on something else, not contingent. 
not re requiring or relying on others as for care or livelihood, being enough to free one from the necessity of working for a living and showing a desire for freedom. Now, as we have this conversation in the realm of the black community, how much of those, uh, how much of the, the following de or the preceding definitions lend to developing the black community? There's a big difference between being independent and being strong. Yesterday, I talked about my mother, who is a black woman, and I talked about how strong she is. But my mother understands the value and the importance of strength within her position and within the community. I gave, if you watch the introduction, I told you women to go out and if you think your independence is great, go hit somebody in the face with your single finger, okay? Because this is the fragility of your independence. It's not good enough for you to simply sit and be a part of a family unit. You also have to play your position, okay? If you look at this fist that can strike that strong blow against the world, it's protected by the opposing thumb, right? Here's the spouse, the wife. The middle finger is the children. You have extended family. You have friends in your community, okay? And you have to work as one. If your, your wife, or I don't want to give you the middle finger, your children decide that they want to get out of pocket, not only will your blow be ineffective, they're going to be hurt in the process. That's the problem with independence. I submit to you and allow me to challenge your thought process that interdependence is where your strength actually lies. Being a part of the group, being a part of the black family. All right. So what does that mean for women? And this is where I'm going to lose a lot of y'all and I'm cool with it because my job is to be a truth teller. I want to tell you the truth and it may be uncomfortable. But me telling you the uncomfortable truth versus you believing the beautiful lie, shameless plug for my channel name, ultimately is going to help you get the results that you actually want. You know, over here at Beautiful Eyes, we are mission focused and results driven. Look at your results. What does your independence actually get you? Is there more strength in you being a helpmate to a man in the community? and building something. Let me, let me tell you something. I brought up the term parallax yesterday and I forgive you. Uh, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I think I did a disservice to you all when it came to explaining it. So parallax is a term that I learned when I was in college at the Air Force Academy learning how to fly. Okay. And in the pilot world, you want to look at your gauge cluster straight on because if you look at it from a parallactic view, you may read it wrong, okay? Now, imagine I'm teaching somebody to fly and we're sitting side by side, okay? Imagine I'm the pilot and I have a navigator here. Not only do we have instrumentation in front of us, but our instrumentation is different. This is the difference between men and women. Check this out, stay with me. Guys, I know I'm talking high level, but stick with me. I'm going to bring it full circle for you. So not only are these independent women not watching their gauge cluster and what's important to them, they're sitting there looking at my gauge cluster and critiquing the way that I'm viewing it. When you're aviating, it is important to look at what you're doing head on. And your job may not be my job. Do you get that? I need you to understand that we're essentially trying to reach the same goal as black men and black women, but somebody is out of pocket and is not playing their position, just like the finger in the fist, just like the navigator in the airplane. I humbly submit to you that you need to realize there's a difference between men and women. Let me, let me talk about this. And I've made videos on this before. First things first, I don't believe that black women have an honest conversation with themselves 
as far as what it is they truly want. I'm going to help you out, ladies. I'm going to help you out. Listen to this. I made a video some months back and I gave a homework assignment. And the homework assignment was to write your obituary. Okay. How do you want to be remembered? And I'll tell you what, I am willing to wager that most of you don't want to be remembered in your obituary, the last words spoken about you in print by your degrees, by your ability to raise children singly, uh, singularly, by your, your ability to, to make a certain amount of money. There's no legacy in any of that. There really isn't. So if you write your obituary and it's legacy and family oriented, that needs to be the priority in your life. Understand this. Men have a, a hierarchy of things that they need to accomplish in, in life. And women have a chronology of things. There's a big difference. Men have to do certain things that are more important. But women on the marriage market, your value is so closely tied to your youth that you've got to do the things in the right order and the right steps. Let me give you an example. If you are willing to get with a man in college and build with him to be that strong neck that directs the head in the right way, to be that conduit for his airway, for his circulation, you can go through the trials and tribulations of life with a man and ultimately reap the great benefits. Or you can wait. You can decide to, when I say wait, I mean deal with a man that is already there. Deal with a man in his late 30s, his early to mid 40s. There's no problem either way. But if you take that valuable time in your youth and you try to be independent, which isn't what you want to be anyway, You're going to end up wasting time, valuable time that you can't get back. You can't. So this fierce, staunch independence that you ladies are going after, it doesn't work. It absolutely doesn't work. Let me explain to you the, the importance of chronology. We're going back to flying, okay? When I started learning how to fly uh, between my freshman and sophomore year at the academy, We had books that we had to study. They're called bold faces. Okay. And these are things, if you're in a flat spin, what you're supposed to do, and you need to have them memorized. You need to literally have it ingrained in your brain that this is what I'm going to do if I find myself in this situation. An overall um, concept when it comes to flight is in, in an emergency, there's a chronology that you do things. You aviate, then you navigate then you communicate. You aviate. You keep that plane in the air. As long as it's in the air, there's hope. You navigate. You start heading in the direction that you need to go. And then you communicate. Ladies, there's nothing that says that you can't have a career. There's nothing that says that you can't pursue a passion. But to do it at the detriment of wasting your most valuable youthful years on the, the the dating market and the marriage market, you can't be upset with the results that you get. And here's the crazy thing. Men are telling you this. We're telling you this. I have a good buddy of mine, went to the academy with, with me. We're going to call him Lieutenant Colonel MK. Is my dude, man. He was the captain of the track team when we were there. It's like 6'5", six, 6'6". Good brother. Love him to death. He married his college sweetheart. His wife has never worked. He's going to be retiring from the military next year. And they've already started her business with interior design. They have four sons. And she has been such a great feminine amplifier in his life. That, of course, he's going to make her life more comfortable. Never has she made this about her. It has always been about the interdependence and the raising of that black family. And I admire her for that. And I admire him for picking her. Ladies, what is the end goal of independence? 
Like, what are you actually really trying to accomplish? Is your goal to be able to raise these kids to their 18, get them through college and stuff like that? Let me explain something to you. And uh, Candid Ann, we're going to take this away from your question because I feel very strongly about what I'm about to say. Women, as I've preached before on this channel, there are levels to this. If your goal is to be able to take care of yourself without a man and to you know, make as much money as you can and live a good life and travel and all that stuff, you can't hold a torch to these black men out here that are actually getting it. Let me tell you how I think. And this is going to sound self-aggrandizing, but this is the truth. El Wapo is already good. I'm going to be retired in four years. I have a fiance that I'll be marrying very soon. She'll be retired next year. I'm working on setting the legacy to retire my kids before they even get out of high school. My three black daughters. Now, this is why I'm doing YouTube and everything else that I'm doing. So while you're worried about living the good life and taking care of yourself, I'm trying to set the difference for the generations to come. Let me tell you something. You think you're getting the bag and you're out here and you're highly educated. Here's my thought process. I didn't come from a rich family, but damn it, a rich family will come from me. For generations down the line. <coughs> Excuse me. And as a woman, you have two choices. You can either get in a man's life and be his anchor through your selfishness and desire to be independent, or you can be his sail as a helpmate and being interdependent. Which one are you gonna choose? How are your results? How does this story play out? What does your obituary read like? So yes, I think a lot of the reason why some black men are walking away is because you black women have been, listen, you've been deceived, you've been duped, it's systemic. I agree with you, but at what point are you going to stop doing this, closing your eyes and la, la, la? When are you going to stop and start to listen to the men that are stepping up and are willing to lead and have a strong desire to be with a black woman and have a black family? When are you going to stop? How valuable is that independence really? Stop thinking worst case scenario and start making room for the possibility of greatness. And guess what? You and I can't do it by ourselves. We got to be together. So like I said, a rich black family is coming from El Wapo. What's coming from you? That's all I got. Thank you so much, team. I appreciate all the new viewers and subscribers. El Wapo, out.